Hello, fabulous Aquarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of June 2015, Love Focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What a big month it is for you in love. I've been talking about this as we've been going along week to week in the weekly horoscopes. I spoke about this in the year ahead horoscope. So you are going to want to watch that year ahead 2015 horoscope in love because it's an important month in love for you or at least an important time that kicks off for you now. In some respects, you've already been in it. You've been in the midst of some really important lessons since last month. Last month, we had Mercury go into shadow, May the 4th, go retrograde in the middle of May as well. And as you start this month, Mercury's retrograde and right around the 10th, stands still and goes direct. All of this is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with romance and love and flirtation and dating. But that's not it. We've also got a new moon happening in the same part of the sky in the middle of the month as well. So you do want to watch right around June the 10th. If any romance issues came up for you right around May the 4th, this is going to be some of that culminating for you, your answers coming through, the clarity coming through that allows you to move positively and purposefully forward. But once we get you to that new moon, you're ready to begin again. You found your answers or you feel a real sense of direction, even though more information may be coming forward as loose ends are tied up and things are coming together, that new moon is going to allow you to feel a sense of a fresh start with either somebody new or within an established bond, a fresh start of heart. But then things change up a little bit. Before the month is out, Venus is going to enter shadow. And next month we'll go retrograde, a rare retrograde phase. And we'll be retrograde through much of the summer. We'll go direct in September and we'll leave shadow in October. So you are now at the beginning. You already have been in the midst of some really important relationship cycles. But now you are starting a whole other trend that also has to do with matters of love and partnership and what is love going to mean to you? What is partnership going to mean to you? What is it that truly matters in matters of being with another person and how are you going to define that? Passion is going to be especially high, especially later on over the course of this summer. And so it's going to be up to you to decide how you are going to meet that and what it is ultimately that love is going to mean to you. Do you love this person, this situation, this thing? But especially where it comes to romantic love and partnership, if you feel that bond truly is there or isn't. These are going to be the type of things that start to flush out for you over the course of this summer. And the process has already begun. Now here's the thing with retrogrades. We don't always see things clearly. And what happens isn't always the whole story isn't always how things fully materialize as well. And so I find all this really interesting and really intriguing as well. It suggests to me that you will be thinking about not only what love is going to mean to you, but also what real partnership and commitment and how you want to define that, what, what, whether you want to call it marriage, sharing your life, how are you going to define that? Now, this is actually something that Aquarians need to go through, a process that they need to go through. As part of being an independent soul, you're fine by yourself, you're fine with somebody else, and so sometimes you will go through periods where you have to say, okay, where do I end and this other person begins? Because having such a strong sense of self is so important, you are going to always want to have something of your own, something that feels like it is your own, that allows you that sense of self-identity, that goes beyond just the partnership. So this is going to be a time of experimentation. You've already been going through it. You've gotten a taste of it and it's going to accelerate as we move further into the year. So bringing it back to this month, Mercury has been doing this dance since last month. Now you'll start to find those resolutions. If you broke up, this is when the answers come that make you go, oh, okay, maybe that wasn't a good breakup. Let's get back together. If you met somebody new, this is when you get, okay, this is when you say to yourself, oh, okay, that's who you are. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize that. I didn't realize you're actually 20 years older than you told me you were. Like, these are the types of things that happen uh, when we meet somebody 
start dating somebody under a Mercury retrograde with Mercury retrograde in this particular part of the sky for you. Um, and then you get all these insights. You go, oh, wow. Okay. That's the reality. That's the situation. That's what's really going on here. Once we uh, get you to the new moon though, you understand who you are. You're ready to start fresh and you're feeling so much more open on a level of heart. And you have that clarity and that understanding as well. Those of you in an established bond, Venus will by far be the more important player in the sky for you. So this summer, and I will talk about it as we go along, it's going to represent a really important time. Do watch what happens right at the end of the month. It looks to be like so lovely and enlivening and you're feeling so close to the one you love. This could be a proposal that shows up right around that time as well. If you're in a committed bond um, or something that even strengthens the bond, makes you feel that much more closer, but it looks like there's a surprise in love that's taking place for you. Um, but still, I do think that Gemini, sorry, Mercury moving through the sign of Gemini and moving through the part of the sky for you that has to do with matters of heart, wherever it is that you've been a little bit unsure about matters close to the heart, you're going to find your clarity this month and feel like you're starting fresh in a sense with this person that you love. Those of you who are dating somebody, Mercury, what Mercury has been doing, this dance, this new moon becomes that much more important. This will represent that moment for you. I think you more than others are going to be like, oh, okay. Yeah, I get it. I get what actually happened back then. Like you are much more likely to say that than somebody who is in a committed relationship. So if you're dating somebody, this is saying, okay, let's really start fresh here. Hi, this is my name. <laughs> who are you? I've been dating you for a year and a half, but Let's start fresh. It's that type of feeling that's going to be there in the middle of the month. Those of you who are open to meeting somebody new, flirt. The flirt is on. <laughs> and you should have at least some memorable or romantic experiences that help you in your journey towards learning about yourself and love. But of course, with Venus doing its thing, starting to do its thing, entering shadow in your opposite sign for most of this month anyways, then entering shadow before the month is out, um, you know, there is going to be somebody there to help you understand who you are in the context of love. And you're thinking long-term, you're really thinking about the long-term potential and somebody very well may present themselves to you very soon. That is part of you understanding what love is going to mean to you now and going forward as well. What I love about this month is that it's part of that larger picture that's teaching you about love. And it is an important year for you in the context of love. You're getting honest with yourself. You're being real with yourself. And you're also coming to understand more deeply what love is for you and who you are within love. And with that clarity, that sense of self knowledge, but also clear expectations of another, you find yourself moving towards love that feels truly honest to both of you. And that feels truly joyous as well.